York, multiple statues around the city have been toppled or vandalized today. Those include a statue of John McDonough across from Gallier Hall, also two statues of Confederates at Canal and Jeff Davis Parkway, and a statue of Sophie B. Wright on Magazine Street. Jade Cunningham is at Gallier Hall now and joins us with more on this story. Jade, what do we know about this? Well, good morning, Sheba. This is something that city officials as well as New Orleans police officers are still trying to piece together and investigate. We are here at Lafayette Square. John McDonough actually stood right behind me on that pedestal, but you can see he is there no more. Several uh, statues, again, around New Orleans were vandalized in some way or another uh, over the past few days. Some have been painted or spray painted, and again, others, uh, at least two, have been toppled down and taken off of their pedestal. Now, the two include, again, John McDonough, the statue here in front of Gallier Hall. Now, John McDonough, if you're unaware, he gave a lot of money to start schools, but he also was a slave owner, which, of course, has upset a lot of people. The other statue that was toppled was Charles Drew. He was the first Confederate field officer uh, to be killed. Now, a third statue, uh, one of Sophie B. Wright, was actually found to have been spray painted with the words Black Lives Matter several times. Her father apparently had ties to the Confederacy. Uh, no one has come forward to take responsibility for the toppling of the McDonough and Drew statues, as well as for the vandalism of the other statues. Uh, the McDonough statue, by the way, had a rope nearby. Uh, while I was getting some video of the statues earlier, there was some uh, New Orleans police officers there. so. They are aware of these incidents. Uh, there were people taking pictures and uh, stopping to look at some of these statues. I spoke with one man who said it is time that these statues come down. It's a slap in the face to um, people who have to look up and be reminded that this is somebody who basically tortured Native Americans. And you know, I'm, I'm a Jewish American, and um, if I had to look up and see a statue of Hitler, I'd be disgusted. You know, it, it's just not okay. It's not fair. And I think. All of these statues need to go. Well, we did hear from the city. A spokesperson uh, sent a statement uh, to us saying, quote, as we have said throughout these events, the administration is in complete support of peaceful demonstrations and of our people making their voices heard. But the destruction and vandalism of city property will not be tolerated. These incidents will be fully investigated and those responsible will face consequences consequences, end quote. So, of course, we are going to be following the story today. You can hear more coming up in our later newscasts on the Eyewitness News. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. All right, Jaden, it seems that all of this was done today, right? Yes, Sheba, it appears that some may have been done overnight or earlier this morning. There were some other statues, too, that had been vandalized yesterday. So, again, this is all something that has happened in the recent uh, days. Sure. All right. Thank you so much for that information, Jade.